Yo, what is up guys? Zilla back here once again. Uh, you've probably already seen that I finally got a legal cage for Sonoma. So we are finally hitting tandems now. So this Wednesday, Wednesday the 22nd? Yeah, so Wednesday the 22nd was my first time I ever tandem at Sonoma. Man, I was excited. I did not get to record as much as I wanted to just because I was excited. Just wanted to get out there and actually enjoy tandeming. Um, I did tandem with Sophia for the last few minutes. So that was definitely a blast. Um, yes, I'll go ahead and take you around the cage. And as well, just to put the cage properly in the car, we have to paint it. So not sure which color we're going to do yet. Um, I'm going to go to Walmart real quick. Probably try and look at a selection. I kind of have two colors. Brian did bring up another color that might change my mind to what I wanted first. Um, but yes, I'll go. I'm gonna go ahead and check out the colors, see what they got, <clears throat> um, and then I'll go ahead and show you the cage, show you how it's set up, and exactly what he did. Um, so shout out to the boy Dead Fab who did come in clutch and finally helped me get my car tandem ready. Uh, but yes, let me go ahead and go to Walmart and then I'll catch you guys back once I'm all set. Alrighty, so we are back. Let me go ahead and show you what I got now. Um, felt like going back to school shopping, which probably is a good idea to hopefully go back to school shopping. But for now, we are focusing on the cage. So no time to think about school. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Go, go to school. I'll go back soon. Say that you're fine. You're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. Here we are. Don't mind the kitchen table. Um, but the first main thing I got was, of course, a respirator. Because you do not want to be breathing, especially since I will be inside the car. So most of the time, um, all the particles are going to be lingering in there. So I don't definitely don't want to breathe those in. So make sure you get a proper face mask. Um, whenever you do any type of painting, you should use any type or the proper face mask. Just, I don't know, they say something about health issues. Alright, but let's get to the goodies. So of course we had to get the scotch bright, um, especially for the welds since I don't really want to use sandpaper on them. I don't want to mess with the welds. So I'm going to just kind of clean them up with this since they're getting a little bit of rust. Um, it's been just two days since he finished welding so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, next thing, we got some tape. Um, so it's just regular um, general purpose masking tape. Nothing too crazy. I was going to get the blue tape, but I think this one is pretty sticky and it's not that expensive. So I was like, eh, might as well. Um, I got some plastic wrap or drop cloth, plastico protector, um, just to go ahead and cover everything. Make sure I don't get overspray. If I do, I get the least amount of overspray on something or anything in the car. Also got some sandpaper, so this is higher grit, so 400, 600. Of course, we got clear coats. We got gloss clear coats. We got three of those. I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough. The paint, the color that I'm gonna be painting the cage. I'm not sure if it's a mistake. The color I went for is oil in here. Uh, but we got some glitter, or as real drivers call it, we got some flakes. There were, I mean, it's not really flakes. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit around the cage, make it pop a little bit more as well. Uh, yep, the first thing I gotta do is just take off everything on the inside, like seats, steering wheels, the quick release, just to make it a little bit easier. That's less things I have to mask and work around with. Um, so let me go ahead and, and I'll actually go ahead and show you the cage once I get all those out um, I'll go ahead and take you around All right, but here we are in the car um, Let me go ahead and show you the cage really quickly. So it's a simple Sonoma spec cage um, So what you need would be the hoop. I think it said no more than four bends So what you need is pretty much to conform to this side top that side and then down so that should be the perfect four bends 
and then you need the two bars that go from the hoop over to the rear and then recently the new thing would are the leg bars or but he put it straight on the floor other sides the same uh, but yeah so that's um, and also you have to have the diagonal bar and then the harness bar running across um, yeah but other than that that is pretty much it is the simple cage that you need for Sonoma and then the guy who also did my cage he does do FD cages I think it's not too much more um, but yeah so let me go ahead and get started it is getting a bit rusty now especially so this bar was a donor bar from my other uh, cage I had so this is a brand new cage um, that is the older one as you can see it's a little bit more rust you can see a little bit more rust on there other than this one this one I just did do as a scotch right though um, but yeah so that one I'm gonna clean it up really quickly I'm actually clean up the whole thing I do have alrighty guys hopefully I don't look oh that's nasty I look pretty bad um, but it is actually the next next day from the last video I did record it's currently 312 Oh, I did spend quite a bit of time um, sanding everything down so all the bars um, I did like over here where the joints are the best I could when you are sanding your your cage definitely want to make sure that you try and get um, the most rust out as you can probably shouldn't listen to me but it'll kind of give you like a brief understanding of what to do so I'm gonna start masking everything off so I'm gonna start um, putting in the plastic, make sure I have everything covered. I do not want to get overspray like on the dash or anything like that. So I'll definitely take your time, especially on this step, it is crucial. Um, if you do miss a spot, there's probably gonna be like a little patch with the color you're painting, so that would not look good. But yeah, so let me go ahead and get started in that and then I'll check right back in whenever I have everything all set up and then we'll get started with painting. So she is all masked off, um, so I just have the hoop, the leg bars, and the rear bars that go to the back. Um, it's going to be kind of difficult getting around this, but oh well, we'll see how we do. Also masked off right here on the door, so when I spray that way, I'm not going to get any of the body panels. Um, I don't want to put my camera while I'm spray painting because then I don't want to get any overspray on the lens as well. Um, but I'm pretty sure most of you know how to spray paint, so hopefully you could take it on from there. Uh, but I'll go ahead and meet you afterward. Woo. Yo, what is up guys? Finally back. Finally caught, got the cage all settled in. We got it nice and painted. I did also put all the carpet back. I didn't want to bore you with all that. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and show you. They got the harnesses mocked up in there, just making sure. Also got this. Also was able to get the door card. Um, so with this, I did just have to trim the bottom. So there's just this kind of open space at the bottom, but at least it clear. So there's kind of a little rundown of how to paint a cage if you're looking forward to painting it. I'm not sure if it's the best way, so I'm sure it's an autofocus. I'm not sure if it's the best way to paint one, but it definitely worked for me. So it's probably, I mean, it didn't take too long. The worst part was sanding everything and wrapping everything. So with that plastic um, wrap, just to make sure you don't get no overspray, no nothing like that. That was probably the hardest part, other than that spraying itself or painting itself, it's not it's not that bad. It does take time just pretty much to let it dry. Uh, but other than that, I'm loving the cage, honestly not gonna lie. What I did, I did two coats of purple, 
Um, then I hit it with the little glitter spray can they have. And then I finished off with, I think, four or three coats of clear coat. Probably overkill, but better to be safe than sorry. I want this to definitely look its best. So that def which it does, not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be, I thought it was gonna look bad, but nope, it's looking good. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed it as well, smack that like button. Um, other than that, hopefully I'll see you on my next video, which should hopefully be soon. Hopefully I don't like it. Yeah.